you want to put a bead in the center and it's really important that the next two beads that are on the outsides go as far out as you can because you want them to push into the opening that way when your WRB goes to it it can bond the Dynoflex and the WRB at that critical point and make a nice solid seal there. This is the only place to seal where you want the WRB to be underneath the thermal buck. On the side we'll overlap it and on the head we'll overlap it. But here we'll roll it in good and push it in good on the seal. If you're using a WRB that's not a self-adhered, put a bead of sealant between the wall and it so it stays in good place. Do you tag this at all? It'll, it'll sit there with the sealant on. So we usually just let it sit there until we get all the other ones on. And the tongue is for strength reasoning. When we drive that nail through this opening, it distributes the weight of the window two different ways. Part of it comes back to the nail head, and it also doesn't let your thermal buck pull away from the wall. That way, uh, your load's transferred to the wall and back to the nail. Okay. If you're doing a wood buck, you're trying to hold a piece, measure it, and try to nail it into place at the same time. Mm -hmm. This is predetermined depth. You just push it back the whole way, mm -hmm. and you're already set at the right depth. From this line out, there's a slope in the product. It drops a sixteenth of an inch. All the pieces have it. That way you don't have to have a separate piece. But when your window sets out here, you typically put uh, a pan flashing on it so you've got a slope for positive drainage. Mm -hmm. This has already got that built in. Yeah, it doesn't, you can get a, it's pretty stiff, but you can get a little bit of bell out of it. That, that's pretty narrow to do it. We might even should have done a jam last. As I'm doing this, I'm pushing the, the sealant back into the opening. Just give it a good pull back. Make sure you're tight. Once that sealant sets, you don't want to try to take that out. So now what we, once you have that done, it's easiest to just take a block like this. Uh, you want good square corners, so just bring it in until you get that. We've moved our rough opening over half an inch away from the stud. We just want to take it at the slightest little bit of angle to make sure that we still get the center of that stud with our screw. Take a three inch buck, half inch of uh, plywood, so that's four or three and a half inches. You want to go at least an inch into the wood, the framing. So you need a four and a half, five inch. I don't think that window's going anywhere. No. As long as that's over the flange, that's over that, it's like a shedding. You gotta roll this into the window so it goes over that. Yep. How are you doing this? I right. have you coming out onto the wall. We are gonna have to put something over top of this because you need two inches of seal for the for it to stick. I would, I would stop it on the wall so you don't have a flat area for ponding for it to come in. You know, if it's not going to happen here for general building purposes. Yeah, roll it up the wall. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. And then yeah. what on the side? Yeah, no, I worked right here. Just case it's seen. Yeah. Okay.